to you, I lift up my soul, O oh God. In you I have trusted. Let me not be put to shame. Nor let my enemies exult over me. And let none who hope in you be put to shame. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good morning. How are you doing today? Dear friends, once again, we are called to be humbled, to constantly remind ourselves of our nothingness, so as not to allow pride to take over our lives. Dear friends, and these we learn from Jesus himself, who humbled himself. He came down from his throne, hiding his glory, so that we too can share in that presence of his love. Dear friends, for the times we have not been humble enough, for the times we have allowed pride to rule over our hearts, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for peace as to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. You are saying to heal the contract of art, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right end of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. We pray at this Mass for the special intention of Paul Petruzzelli. Let us pray. And in the memory of Julia and Frank D. Lido, grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gather at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for that land afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, in faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with, little, with the little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors, together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox, the baby shall play with the cobras in the cobra's den, and the child lay his hands on the adler's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up a, si a signal 
for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his in time, time, and fullness, fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his time, in fullness of peace forever. forever. Justice shall flower, flower in the, his days, and profound peace until the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his time in fullness, fullness of, of peace forever. forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time in fullness, fullness of, of peace forever. forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, in fullness, fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father and who the Father is, except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, once again, and how are you doing? Dear friends, today, Jesus tells us once again the importance of realizing our emptiness. And how do we do this? By remaining humble. Because it blesses the humble of heart. Jesus does that. Just imagine this little manger where the king of kings had to lay the Lord of lords, the one who created all, was born. This little manger here. The birth of Jesus and the manger signifies the emptiness of himself, of his glory. How he himself humble everything about himself for our sake. You could imagine the glory of God, so glorious. The splendor of God is unimaginable, but he kept all this away and humbled himself he came in the form of a, a child. He humbled himself to become like us. Dear friends, 
in today's gospel passage, Jesus blessed God for hiding certain things from the wise and revealing them to mere infants. Who are these infants Jesus was referring to? He was referring to his disciples who had just returned from the mission of preaching to the town and villages and healing many diseases. And Jesus said to them, be glad because you have seen what others have not been able to see. And Jesus blessed God on their behalf. So if Jesus was referring to the disciples as infants, who then are we? We are also infants, not childish in nature, but childlike. That's what the gospel says today. Then who, let's come to the wise ones. Who are the wise ones from whom the hidden mysteries of God were hidden? These are those who either do not know God or they behave as though God does not exist. The wise are so full of themselves that they even feel they have no need for God. Dear friends, today we must know as we continue the journey of Advent to realize our emptiness, our need for God at all times, and this is an example of the humility that Jesus demonstrated for us when he assumed our human nature. In the course of this season of Advent, one question we must continuously ask ourselves is, how willing am I to humble myself and to come to terms with my nothingness? Dear friends, it was not out of humility that God decided to leave his throne no not out of humiliation but out of a total emptiness he emptied himself he left everything to dwell with us if god could forget his greatness for your sake for my sake why can't i bring myself down why can't I humble myself as a child in dealing with others? Dear friends, pride is really a blinding sickness. Not only does it make you or me to blind to the greatness of God, pride makes you and me to believe that we are God. And this we must be careful. And prophet Isaiah in today's first reading tells us, speaks of the time that shall come when the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. And the leopard shall lie down with the kid. Dear friends, humility gives access to really high places if we dare to accept that. Would you be childlike? Will I be childlike? This is what we are called to do, especially during this season of Advent. It is my prayer that the Lord Jesus will grant us a spirit of childlike in nature so that we can remain humble in all we do, especially during this period of Advent, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, humility is wealth. Pride is poverty. Humility is wealth. Pride is poverty. Let us pray. Let us pray for the leaders of the church, our Pope Francis, our Bishop Michael, all the priests, deacons, and religious, that we may continually serve in humility and obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our leaders in government, that they will promote justice, love, and peace, and freedom of religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us, wherever we may be watching from, that Jesus will make our heart meek and humble like his own. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are inflicted and impacted by this COVID-19, that they will receive healing, the needed support, and for all who are working on solution, that they will receive the divine wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
We pray at this Mass for the happy repose of the soul of Julia and Frank Delito, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pray for your intention. Lord Jesus, make us humble in heart and mind to always be childlike in serving and worshiping you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth, and welcome from your hands it to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine, and welcome from your hands it to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contra heart, may we accept the sacrifice. Pray, dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gather from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when it comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to all. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, let it do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your servants, Julia and Frank DeLito, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a day like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph and spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, John Vianney, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your way. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Please offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old in who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The Lord will bestow his bounty, and our health shall yield its increase. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining us this morning. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We say one Hail Mary for our nation. Hail Mary.
full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all nations, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please do not forget our novena to the Immaculate Conception as we prepare for the feast day. Have a blessed day. Thank you.